Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com, and by request, we are doing crepes, the classic French crepe batter. So easy, yet uh, a mystery to many people. Uh, why? I don't know. They're afraid. So let's go. I'm going to show you how to do this. It's really easy, like I say everything is. So you're going to take a couple eggs. All right, you're going to give that a quick whisk. You're going to add a cup of flour. By the way, go to the site to get these ingredients, even though I'm going to tell you. Uh, a cup plus a quarter cup, I guess that would be a cup and a quarter, of just regular milk. You can use low fat if you want. I got two tablespoons of vegetable oil and a pinch of salt, about, I don't know, a quarter teaspoon. Now you're going to blend this really well. A lot of people uh, like to do this in a blender. Is there anything worse than cleaning a blender though? Hate to clean the blender. So I'm just going to whisk this really good. It's going to be fine. If you want to strain it, you can strain it. Let that sit for one hour. And if you can't wait an hour to eat crepes, come on. You have some kind of, I don't know, crepe dependency problem. Okay, you want to refrigerate that, by the way. All right, now after the hour, if it seems a little thick, add some more milk. This should just be like almost heavy cream. The biggest mistake people make is too thick a crepe batter. So thin it out if you need to. And then we're ready to make crepes. You're going to get a saute pan on medium heat. I'm going to give it a little spray of vegetable oil. I got a little spray canola, not the kind that kills the environment. You're going to just brush a little oil on there with a paper towel. And then you're going to pour in about a quarter cup and just swirl it around to cover the pan. Now this pan is too big. I should have like a 9 or 10 inch pan. This is a 12 inch pan. But I don't care. I only have one really good nonstick pan. That's all I have. <clears throat> Donation. But it works fine. So if you want to go out and spend the money and buy a, uh, you know, a crepe pan, you can. To me, this works fine. I don't really care about the irregular edges because when I fold these up, who the heck cares if they're round? All right, so that's close enough for me. Now, when the top is dry, okay, again, medium heat. This is in real time, so that only took like 45 seconds or so. You're going to flip that over. By the way, that's a total myth. You don't flip crepes up in the air like on TV. You just take a spatula, you slide it under, and you just flip it over. It could not be easier. Now, that side, you want to go about 15 to 30 seconds, and your crepe is done. That's it. All right, so here's another one. And if those you know, regular edges really bug you, you can cut them off. When you flip that over, you're going to see kind of little, little lightly brown blisters. Okay, on the second side, that's completely normal. That's what they're supposed to look like. You're going to put those on a plate to cool. Okay, by the time you finish one, the other one's cool and you put it on top. So you can pile those right up. I mean, you don't want to pile 100, but uh, you know, 10 or 20, no problem. Now this batch is going to give you about 10 crepe. They're not going to stick. Don't worry. All right, you're going to wait till those are completely cool. You're going to wrap those up, refrigerate them, and wait till you see what we do with these. It's going to be unbelievable. Anyway, that was just step one, how to make the crepes. And if this is your first try, you're going to wreck the first five or six. That's okay. Flour and milk is cheap. Well, flour's cheap. Milk's expensive now. But anyway, give that a try. Go to the site, read the info, and uh, as always, enjoy. Enjoy.